everybody, Dizzy Crafter here with a little comparison video. Um, as you all know, if you've been following my YouTube channel, I've been making lots of reefs and I've been using this glue gun, which is fine, except it just gets in the way with this wire. So I thought I'm going to try and get a cordless one. And there were so many to choose from, but I thought I'd go with these two. These was the more reasonable price ones of Amazon. So um, I thought because I've read up and they only last for something like half an hour, 90 minutes, something like that. Um, so if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna need at least two because it takes longer than that to put the things actually on the uh, reefs themselves so if I will get two different ones and see how they compare so the first one we'll go with is this little tiny pink one and we'll do an unboxing of this and they were both round about 20 pounds so there wasn't really any price difference in them much So that's the box emptied so you've got a warranty card you've got some little silicon thumbs finger pad things you've got your usb charging stick you've got this which i'm not too sure what this is i wonder if it goes on there yeah it probably goes on there to protect it and that just stands up like that and it gets charged up here and then there's a light here to indicate when it's ready and there's an on off switch there and in fact there's actually some charge in it so that's good and then you've got some instructions as well so I'll just pop those in there and then you've got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 transparent glue sticks and 2, 4, 6, 8, I think it's maybe 10 glitter glue sticks in different glitters so that's what you get in that one and in this one, this is the Work Pro one. It comes in a box, so you've got a little card to say I store it, some leaflets, and some more leaflets, and some instructions. So this is the glue gun itself. And again, that stands up on its own it's got I really like the trigger on that I never even tried that one this trigger's a little bit stiffer um, I'd say this one looks a bit narrower is in the nozzle bit um, but the hole looks round about the same to be honest there's not really much in it and I don't think my camera's focusing very well as I've been struggling with that for some time now um, I've I don't know what this is, I'm guessing oh, this comes out so that gives extra a bit of extra support as well. You turn it on here, there's no charge in this one at all. And again, you charge it there. Then you've got numerous um, glue sticks again, I think there was 20 in this one. And then your charging lead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this up and I will be back shortly and we'll, we'll start them both off at the same time and see which glue gun works fastest. So I have charged them up, both of them, even though like this one already had some charge in it, I thought, well, let's charge them fully to the full capacity. That way, I feel like the test will be fair. Uh, this did take a lot longer than this one to charge. Now that might be, it might have a bigger battery, or it might be because this already had some charge in it. I don't know, but I won't know until I've used it a fair bit and then see how it, the charge time takes. But this one had been on charge about 45 minutes. So to keep it fair, I'm just going to use my standard glue sticks I normally use and not the glue sticks that came with the kit because I believe the glue sticks are not very good um, in one of them and I can't remember which one it was that wasn't very good. So I don't really want to use the glues that come with it because you can't take them out. Once you put a glue stick in, you've got to feed the whole thing through whether you're happy with it or not because otherwise you will take attachments out of the glue gun and it will be no no longer any good. 
So I'm just going to feed this one through first. I've not turned any of them on. Oh, this one looks like it needs a longer glue stick. So this one's going to need at least two going in. And this one. needs two so it definitely needs the longer glue sticks but it doesn't need them but it helps but I'm not bothered I'll still stick with these so I'm just going to turn them both on so that one's on and turn this one on hmm it's not lighting up lit up when it was on charge so don't know I wonder if this is broken all right no nope. There we are, we do have some light going on. So this is saying it's red, so it's not quite ready. And this one's blue, so I don't know whether it's ready or not. We'll just have to wait um, and see. And I'm going to see if any of the glue drips out on its own before I even press the trigger. So I'll fast forward this bit and uh, we'll see how we get on. So this one's seen now it's green so this is ready and I do like how it lights up I mean it's a bit difficult to see uh, with my lighting on but in person you can see it and it got like a ring here that's saying it's ready and it's also lit up here as well and on this side so if you're left or right it doesn't matter uh, this hasn't really changed any colour whatsoever it's still blue so I don't know if it's just ready to go as straight away uh, and we've had no drippage as such so I'm just going to just draw a line of glue and see how it triggers out I need to push that one in there we go so that comes out quite nice actually I feel like the nozzle on that is really really good and although we've got the string bit you're going to get that all the time with any glue gum and it is starting to now come out a little bit but not anything dramatic I don't know if you can see that there it is the tiniest tiniest of bit but being transparent it doesn't make it easy to see again this hasn't really changed colour so I'm just going to see if it's ready or not and we're just going to do the same thing there we are yeah so I feel like they're both very very good actually I'm quite impressed now this one hasn't dripped at all let me just do another one because that stick wasn't quite in properly and just give it a minute I do feel like they're both very very um, good glue guns um, they both feel quite sturdy I'd say this one does definitely feels more sturdier than this one though but that being said there's very minimal in it I think it might be because it's a little bit more ergonomic as you'd say like for holding wise uh, the trigger on this one I feel is nicer than this one this one just feels a little bit more firmer to pull but not anything dramatic as such so yeah so I'm really impressed with that um, what I'll do is I will crack on and use it for what I want them to use them for and then I'll come back and tell you how I felt they performed whilst using them using them um, and hopefully you'll see which, which ones I like the best um, in future videos anyway so give me a bit and I'll be back soon well I've been using these guns now for the best part of a week um, and I feel like they both perform very very relatively the same um, this one I was going about an hour and a half to an hour and 40 minutes this one unfortunately was only about an hour and 20 minutes um, and they both took between four and six hours to fully charge up so it's not something that you can just use and then pop it on charge again 
um, I presume you can use it whilst plugged in I don't know I didn't actually try that one but I have to say this one is my favorite now this one was 20 pounds and this one was 19 pounds um, and although this one did last that little bit longer I just feel like this feels bit more substantial it's ergonomic more I mean this one is still ergonomic but I just it's a personal preference really that I really prefer this one it's just sad that you get an extra 20 minutes usage out of this one um, neither of them did a lot of dripping or anything like that so very very good for the price I can't believe there was only that there was that cheap really I've still not used either of the glue sticks that came with these kits uh, I've stuck with my personal glue sticks but I will have a dabble in the, in the future when I've got time to see how the glue sticks that they came with measure up with the ones I personally buy and I only buy cheap ones from the range they're not like um, really expensive glue sticks uh, so I feel like that's all I can really say about them really that like I say, this one you get an hour and a half to an hour and 40, this is an hour and 20 minutes and they both take forever to charge or it seems like forever once you're actually needing it so uh, I feel like I'd probably need a free on the go constantly because when I'm using them, I'm using them for a long time um, but yeah, I feel like I've said all I need to say on the matter uh, please let me know if you've got either of these glue guns what your thoughts and ideas are and if you're not are you in the market for one uh, which one do you like the look of more I mean I feel like this is prettier and the stand actually is a really good substantial stand but although I thought this would be flimsy it's not it's, it perfectly stands I've not dropped it once or anything like that uh, so yeah so that's my review guys I hope you've liked it I'd love it if you'd please comment subscribe give me a thumbs up and thanks again for watching and hopefully I shall see you in the next video bye